This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Today we are taking a look at some of the best Blender tutorials that can help you learn new things. These tutorials vary from modeling, VFX, motion graphics tutorials, and more. The first one is from the Blender Guru. How to make realistic Earth in 20 minutes, and this one is a remake of the only How to make Earth in Blender back in 2016. Andrew Price will walk you through a really simple process of creating a planet Earth in Eevee using a couple of high resolution textures, and these textures are provided by NASA's official website. You will first create a sphere, then get the scale right, and then apply the textures one by one for the ground atmosphere, in addition to clouds and so on. You will also do some compositing and see how to add night lights to the other side of the Earth. This next video from Kaizen Tutorials is all about useful tips and tricks in Blender that you might not know. These tips range from how to export transparent videos to how to use materials override and use negative lighting. This is really useful because Blender is jam-packed with features that you are bound to miss. That's why these videos are kind of useful and they are going to help you learn at least one or a couple of things. Now, talking about modeling, we have a video about modeling from Polygon Runway. This one is about how to create an isometric room in Blender for beginners. The room is a recreation of the living room from The Simpsons TV show. You will start with the default cube, setting up the camera, and getting everything lined up. Next, you will start adding objects to the scene, like a couch, a carpet, TV, and so on. You will finish by lighting the scene, applying materials, and rendering the final results. We have another Kaizen Tutorials video, and this time around, it is about how to start texture painting in Blender for complete beginners. You will see how to import a model, UV unwrap it, and set up and create a texture to begin painting. You will take an overview on how to create all the painting tools, create a paint mask, and in general, how to add details to your texture paint. So, if you are a beginner in Blender or texture painting in general, this tutorial is gonna be for you. If you are interested in learning more about how to make 2D and 3D animations, I recommend you try Skillshare. It is a learning platform that has thousands of classes on a variety of different topics. You can go now and get access to hundreds of classes about 3D modeling, animation, game development, video editing, you name it. For example, this class called Bring Your Illustrations to Life with Blender 3D, in which you will learn about modeling and texturing a scene in 3D as a beginner. And this training will be delivered to you by Remington Markingham, aka Southern Shoddy 3D. You will illustrate your scene with ease of modeling in mind. Then you will create an illustrated scene. After that, you will model, texture, and render out the scene. By the end of this course, you will have a full scene of your illustration in 3D. And the good thing is, Skillshare is very affordable to get access to all these fantastic classes. The first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Decoded's short animation breakdowns are always delightful and insightful to watch, and this one is no different. In this video, he will walk you through his workflow and process of creating the short animation of the Apollo 11 mission that landed on the moon, of course. The whole animation is comprised of 7 shots. He will hone in on every important detail and breakdown of how he created some of the effects and compositions of the whole animation. Also, if you want to make the most out of your high dynamic range images in Blender, this video from Daki 3D will go through some of the tips and tricks to maximize the benefits using the HDRIs over just normal lights. Usually using an environment will give you a lot of details in your lighting, but you end up with a washed out look and this method will be about how to combine the built in lights with the high dynamic range images the right way. Another fun one from Ducky 3 d is this optical illusion logo reveal with particles in Blender. The effect involves using a particle system to rotate around and reveal the logo as the camera pans around the particles. The idea from this animation was from the Apple's Far Out event to showcase their latest technologies, and in this tutorial, we'll be recreating this effect in Blender. Next, in this video tutorial by Polyfjord, he will showcase a method of generating artwork using an AI model that is called Stable Diffusion to Generate AI Art. This model will take a description of anything you want and turn it into an artwork. 
you will learn how to download, set up and use the tool, as well as using the tool called Video2x to upscale your images. Next up, we have this fun tutorial by Martin from CG Boost. You will learn how to render underwater environments and how to create a good volumetric effect in Blender. This one hit closer to home because it's really important and a lot of people find this to be difficult. You will see first how to set up your volumetrics in the scene and preview what works and what doesn't, before even you start detailing your scene of course. You will see how you can add light streaks and how you can even animate the caustics to create the dynamic feeling that you are actually underwater when the light scatters around the water as it is moving. Furthermore, you will see how to enhance the look of your water and the underwater scene with effects like boom, chromatic aberration and so on. Now we're gonna talk about a new tracking mode in Blender and it is called Planar Tracking. In this tutorial by How Effects Learn, it will guide you through the process of using this new feature to track anything in boom boards, signs, walls or anything of this sort inside Blender. This works best on flat areas and the feature you are gonna need to follow in this tutorial is only available in Blender 3.3 Alpha. So you will take footage of a sign and see how you can track it with the planter tracker and change the image texture to whatever you want in Photoshop and finally see how you can composite and export the animation. Now we'll see how to create this running anime effect in Blender. Simon 3D uploaded a 27 minute tutorial on how to create a stylized looking effect similar to the ones you can see in anime, where everything is moving too fast. The tutorial is fairly simple, with a couple of different techniques layered upon each other. First, you will start by downloading an animated model from Mixem. Then you will create the moving ground effect by animating a texture across the surface. And as you can see, there is a lot of fakery involved with these techniques, meaning if you look at it outside of the camera, it doesn't really look right. Next, you will create the wind and the dust trail behind. And finally, you will create the moving background and do some compositing to finish the animation. Last but not least, we have another tutorial from Andrew Price. This one is about how to create this interior design scene in Blender in less than 9 minutes. He takes advantage of his add-on that is called a Polygon Library, and he does this to grab different assets and models, in addition to materials to build his scene from scratch. You will start by building the scene and adding materials and importing models. Next, you will focus on adding decoration to the scene. I hope you found this video useful, and if you are interested in one of these tutorials, you will find the necessary links in the description. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.